so ios 15.7.4 is out and in this video i'm going to be demonstrating this update on the iphone 5s the iphone 5s was released in march 2016 so that puts this device around about seven years old it's something that's impressive to see advice that is old to be able to get security and software updates after all these years now for me here, you can see that this device came in at a large update. The file size came in at exactly 4.06 gigs. But the reason for this was because this device was just sitting in my drawer. It's not one that I use on a daily basis. It was actually on iOS 12. So the software size or the update size itself is going to vary depending on which device you are updating from and what version of iOS you are updating to. So. For me here, you do see the size and I'll be happy to let you know that this is supported on a number of other devices as well. So if you have like the iPhone SE first gen, like this one, of course it's supported. If you have the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, it's supported. If you have the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, that is supported as well. The iPad mini, the iPad Air 2 is supported and the iPad mini 4th gen as well as the iPod Touch 7th gen. So my device that you see here has been updated and you do see I have the hello screen here prompting me to press the home button to open. So if I do that, you can see that the software update is complete and it's been updated to iOS 15.7.4. Now we'll click continue on our iPhone SE first gen. Our device is ready to go and we'll click continue and you can see here how it's using. This is the first time I've just started the device after updating. So you can see transitions are pretty good. The animations and the widgets you can see have loaded up pretty quick. I'm impressed by the speed that they loaded up on and you can see the news updates also is updated as well that's something that's good i don't see any lag now let's open up the settings and see how long that opens oh that was pretty quick actually you can see my con notification and control center is pretty fast as well now let's look at the software changes that are here if we go into settings and go to the about you can see the software version ios 15.7.4 showing you that i just updated and if we click there you can see the build number that i have here 19h321 that's the build number and if we go down you'll be able to see the modern firmware version which is 11.61.01 now when i updated my iphone 6s here i actually didn't get a modern firmware update so i will be it's most likely that with the iphone se first gen as well that there isn't a modern firmware update i can't tell because i was coming from an older version of ios which was ios 12 so i did get one because i updated from an older version but if i was on ios 15.7.3 it's most likely that this modern firmware version is the same now let's talk about some other changes or some interesting things you might want to know when it comes to this update you can see because i came from an older version i have a lot of pop-up screen and this is telling me what's new in the app store it's telling me about in-app events and app store widgets that i can add so i'll click continue but i would like to mention to you that there's a new app that's made by apple and it's called apple music classical so if you click there on the app store you'll be able to see it and if you have ios 15.7.3 or 0.4 you'll be able to see this and you can see this app came out yesterday and it, it's already number one on the musical chart so this is an app that's made by apple and it's a sub it requires you to be able to subscribe and it basically provides access to specialized musical content and if you want to check it out and you have a subscription you can always download it before it can became available you actually had to pre-order this application but it's good to see that in here it's now available in canada it might be the availability might depend 
on your country and region as well just keep that in mind but let's talk about this update itself so when it comes to ios 15.7.4 it has a lot of major security and stability improvements some of the bugs and security issues that have been, have been patched were actively exploited by some hackers so i'm gonna try my best to mention some of those when it comes to this device the first one that i have to do that has to do with this update has to do with the camera itself so there was an issue where some applications would be able to get unauthorized access to the camera and that bug has been patched up with this update also when it comes to webkit webkit basically has to do with your browser and your safari most of the time so before there was a bug or a security concern that hackers actually exploited when it comes to safari but apple was able to patch this up by adding origin information to sites and to third party accessors that might need to request information or cookies in order for you to access their site and that has been patched up with this update when it comes to network that has to do with wireless connectivity and most likely or most especially if you use like vpn profiles if you go to your settings and go to general and go to vpn and you have a profile there was a network issue where vpn spoofing was of concern so hackers would be able to create fake profiles in order to intercept user data and that has been patched up with this update because vpn spoofing could result in your information like your banking information your login credentials being compromised and that has been patched up on this device once you update so it's a really important update for security when it comes to that and also i would be happy to let you know that part of the canal update itself has been updated so the canal part of it has to do with the software and memory management where some third-party application where using unassigned memory has been patched up and unauthorized access patches as well have been applied that's something that's good generally when it comes to this update on the iphone se first gen i haven't seen any issues being reported on the internet or on most of the forums that i'm in it seems to be holding up pretty well and pretty steady and connectivity like wi-fi and bluetooth airdrop most of those i seem stable with this update and speed seems pretty similar to the previous update so i can't really say that it's better in a way maybe soon i'll install geekbench 5 and get to see how performance skips up over time when it comes to gpu and cpu itself but whether you should update or not i'll show you some of the security updates so you can always go to like google and search apple security updates and then you see the page that pops up and you get to see some of those that have to do with ios 15.7.4 so if you click there you get to see some of those and you can see there's a lot some have to do with the calendar some have to do with accessibility some have to do with com center find my but i did my best to give you the most the most ones or the most major ones that might affect your device in a large way this is a publicly available site you can always google it and find it but most of the times this is just a point of a point update so it's not going to introduce major new features it's just more of a bug fix and stability update so if you are thinking of updating and you want to perhaps wait for like a week to get a feel of how the device or this update is holding up let me know in the comment section below and then maybe after one week or after a few days of using this device i'll be able to test the battery i'll be able to test performance in depth and let you know how this update is holding up on the iphone se first gen now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this update if you like this video do leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace